Yes, so we start off this project today with my Raspberry Pi. So this is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, I believe. And we have the power brick, not the smallest one, and an Ethernet cable. And we're going to replace one of these with another thing. that I bought today. Raspberry Pi PoE hat. So we taking the power from our ethernet cable. So this is going to be an interesting project. I have never done this before and I have never really thought about it. I have heard that some devices can run over PoE and I thought that these were PoE enabled, but then I uh, read up on it and realized that you needed a hat like this one in order to run it. And I haven't even opened this one. I've bought it, I've seen it online, but I haven't really checked it out. So let's see how it looks. So, and this came in, in this huge package um, <laughs> for just this insy bincy little card here and i have this enclosure as well i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue using this enclosure but we'll see we'll see might be able to do some hacks so i can actually continue using it or i will later on perhaps fetch more raspberry pis and uh, rack mount them so i i think i will uh fetch a bunch of Raspberry Pi 4s with hats and then a rack mount. And then this could be some kind of controller unit for a Kubernetes cluster or something like that. But as I had this laying around and I already replaced my old, uh, <laughs> my old uh, Minecraft server with my Pi box, because of course when I got the Pi box the kids had the summer vacation and they needed a Minecraft server so why not use it. So let's see if we can get this. I have opened this a couple of times so these screws are not that good anymore. So that could be another reason to change enclosure and have something different. So let's see if we can pry this open. I might cut some of this out. Might not be that interesting to see me. It's loosening up. It's gonna go. There we go. That was a hard one. So now I have the enclosure off. So I pretty much think that this is in, this enclosure is done for. At least the screws are. So let's skip that for now. Might use it as an uh, a shield for the components, perhaps. That could be a good thing. But I'm not going to put it together again. Just so I uh, don't fry anything. I could put it like that. Yeah, so let's see here. So you get a bunch of screws in this uh, uh, kit as well. To... Uh, Screw it in and get some spacing between the cards. So I guess it wants me to use the actual mounting holes here with screws. So let's uh, let's do that. Get that in there. Screw it on. Next one, screw that on. Do, 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 do. I think all the screws are the same length. 
that's not an issue at least. There is a little bit of issue of clearance here, so actually getting a tool in here and or anything to hold these could be in, be problematic. I think the mounting pressure should not be that stiff anyway, so perhaps just holding it, it and screwing it on a little bit more should suffice. Like that. And then we see that we have on this, we have these uh, rails here, we have this four pins, so those should fit just fine there. Beforehand they had the screws down here that was a bit longer, so it actually interfered with the components down here. Uh, we have this fan, which is a very small, neat fan. And we have some caps, of course, for power distribution and so on. Yeah, a pretty neat board. Um, not an electrician, so I don't really know that much about it. Haven't read up on it, but I guess it's just trying to get it on as straight as possible and push down. Should be the only thing we need to do. And there isn't that great that many great places to put your fingers actually so it's a little bit harder so can i get it i got at least have it on the plastic don't think i can actually put it down now that you have the screws in there and i don't think they will fit through the plastic i don't think they are long enough and i don't have any other screws laying around so i guess this should suffice for now so let's screw this in it's very exciting could just do pretty much nothing but could just work i don't think there is anything extra that you need to do here there isn't any extra pins and extra buttons or anything like that on this card it's just a power distribution card so yeah let's try to put it in to my my poe switch or at least it should be a poe switch i th thought of actually doing it with the help so I can actually have a more stable system here so let's see here we have the Raspberry Pi there moved it upon my rack here I have insulated it with some plastic from the actual shell this is not going to be its permanent placement of course but it's a place now so let's put in the cable here there we have the cable in so now I have the other cable, let's put it into the switch and see if something happens. Hmm. No blinking lights, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so that was a failure. Um, it turns out that the switch doesn't really have PoE. So now I've bought this little switch, which has four ports, and it should be able to deliver 63 watts altogether. The Raspberry Pi needs, or will get a, a, up to 13. I think it will draw about around there uh, when it has full load. So with 63, I should be able to power at least three of them, perhaps even four. Um, but now comes the interesting part. I haven't actually plugged this in. So I'm very curious to see if this will actually work. So let's do this. Here we go. 
it start or not? <gasps> it has power. I don't see the fan going, but at least I see that I have an LED. I have some kind of boot up sequence. We can also see that the green LED over here is blinking. So we should have access to this server now. I will switch back to the computer and see if I actually can find it on the network. And we see here that it has connection to the switch as well. This is exciting! And I actually want this switch to put this switch uh, on in the inside of this wall and then have um, the cables going back through the patch uh, panel here and then uh, having four of the ports going back to the patch panel so I can have Raspberry Pis uh, rack mounted down here later on. But that's a project for another day. So let's see if we can reach this Raspberry Pi. And I'm back and here I see my server. For some reason I <laughs> call it Elron and it's I found it somewhere in the system um, and got into it, looked around a little bit, found that you have this Raspberry Pi PoE where you can see the max and the now value. And I think that is measured in um, amps and then you convert that in with what the five voltage and you can get the number of watts. Uh, that is at least what I understand when I read uh, Jeff Gerling's uh, post about this. It's not really clear. doesn't really matter for me. I see that I have some extra headroom. It could go all the way up to 50 amps or something like that. Um, or if it's <laughs> 5 amps and then we are using 0 0.5 amps at the moment, that could also be it. And it has been up for 46 minutes pretty much. So this is what I wanted to cover today. How to install a PoE hat. And that PoE is pretty awesome actually to get running on the Raspberry Pi, but you can't just take any old Raspberry Pi and any old switch and just uh, get them run with PoE. You need to have the PoE hat and you also need to have the PoE switch. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.